Hey guys, okay, so this is the week after the last video. Today is August 19th. It's a Friday. So not much has been done on the inside since the last week I was here because the guys have been working on the roof, the the deck stairs, which you can see it's it's been it's been which you can see was replaced. Um, I'm trying not to go over budget, so maybe next year or later on I'm gonna replace the entire deck. But for now, they're gonna sand it down and repaint it, and it should look good. These are some uh, furniture pieces that came in. I ca I had to come over here on the later side today because again the guys were working here and there was no point coming when the entryway and everything was gonna be blocked up. So before it gets dark, I'm gonna take a quick video walkthrough. To show where we're at it's mainly been a lot of cleaning up since last time but there were there are a few um new pieces i received including these which um i believe they're i believe they're dining chairs but they could be chairs for the living room as well uh they're from amazon i'm, I'm gonna open them in a few minutes so and start setting up if i can anyway let's do a quick walkthrough and check out that, well, what has been done so far on the inside so once again, the, thing, the kitchen counter is waiting to be replaced. Uh, that's getting done next week, I believe on the 24th or the 26th. So that's around middle of next week. These chairs are for the patio, but I'm holding them in here for now until this deck gets repainted and the roof is completed. So it'll, it'll, it'll go outside next week. But in the meanwhile, it's, it's actually helping me visualize a little bit how I may lay out the furniture in this living room. For Finally, I got to get two area rugs, one for the living area and one for the dining, but I'm gonna settle on that once I have everything set up because I wanna get something that goes really well because that could end up being very important. I picked up these two fireplace utensils today from, um, from a local store. Uh, that's just for the, to hold the firewood. I'm actually gonna, I, I usually provide one stack of firewood to all guests. It's uh, about usually five to seven pieces in the bag I pick up locally at the store. I'm sure I could probably get it cheaper somewhere, but most guests don't even use the fireplace. So sometimes I'll go several reservations before having to replace it. And this is like the tools to get, keep the fire going. I'm going to take a quick stroll upstairs. Not much has changed there either. Just a deep clean was done on the two bathrooms, both upstairs and downstairs. So this is ready to be stocked up with towels and other toiletries. I'm going to do that next week. So since the last time I was here, I haven't really done anything over there. As of right now, I have an order a computer desk that's going to go there, as well as a chair. So for now, I'm not sure if guests are actually going to use this area to work, but I think having the option there would be nice. If, if it turns out no one is using it, I may end up putting two full beds here, or two queens if it can fit. This, this would give me the option of adding two more guests, which would bring it to eight total because as of right now it's going to be six since there's three queen beds so eight guests would be great i'm just not sure if it's a good idea to have four guests in a small space so it's an idea but um i'm just leaving it for now these are some stuff that needs to go on the wall that mirrors going exactly where it is and these two photo frames are gonna go over the bed what i usually do i find the artwork online and print it to the size this way it's, it feels more unique rather than something that everyone may have seen in an Ikea or home goods. So spare bedding, pillows, comforters, sheets, towels. I'm gonna set up what needs, I'm gonna put out what needs to go in the bed for staging and then the rest is gonna go in the closet. So get a guess have access to extra, extra linens. And I still have to get more because usually I try and get at least four or five full set. This way my cleaning person don't have to wait for the laundry to be finished before doing her turnover service. And having multiple sets help just in case one of them gets damaged or it's not finished on time for the next turnover. Okay, so that's where we're at since the last week we were here. I'm gonna try and do a few things before heading out. I may continue recording if there are stuff that needs to be assembled. And once I'm done, I'll just do a quick update on where I ended up by the end of this evening.
So this looks very simple to assemble. The leg is labeled the leg is labeled with an F if you can see it. There we go. And the two front the two front legs has the same F. Has the same label. And the back is B. And it looks like it uses four screws, so it should be very simple and quick to install. very comfortable and it feels sturdy. So I have six of these total to set up. So I bought six of these shares total, four in the gray and two in this caramel leather because I think it's going to go with some of the other stuff I'm getting for the living room, like two chairs in there is going to be similar in color and um, I thought it might be a good match, we'll see. Uh, it's the same chair, same brand, just a different color so the setup is going to be the same. I'm going to do those off camera and I'll continue once it's done. Okay so these are five of the dining chairs assembled. Unfortunately, one of them came with four front legs instead of two front and two back. So I'm going to have to reach out to the seller on Amazon and have them ship us the two back legs. Hopefully they can send it out within a day or two so I can receive it by next week. And uh, this, will be, this will kind of be the setup. The last chair that's missing the leg is going to go over there. And these caramel color leather chairs they're supposed to match the two chairs I'm getting for over there. I'm not sure if it's going to be the exact same color because I ordered it online, but it looks like it should be a close match, if not the same. We'll see when it comes next week. Okay, so that's it for the dining area for now until, until I can refinish this table and, and complete the setup. So I'm going to leave this like this. For, I'm going to leave it like this for now just to get an idea on the amount of space that I'm working with. It looks kind of tight right now, but that's only because this counter is longer than I, I'm planning on keeping it. I'm cutting it down right in the middle there. So all of that will be gone and I'll create more space to walk around the dining table. It should, it should be a good fit once it's all done. Next I'm going to try and do a little bit of work in the bedroom and I'm going to wrap it up there for tonight once that's done.
I was trying these two these two tables out. This one is an end table and this other one is more of a console table. I thought it might work in here but I don't think it works. I wasn't worried about the color because I could repaint it but the size is, is just too off. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get two I, I'm gonna order two more of these nightstands that I use in this room. I kind of wanted to do something different in here but it's not working out so I'll, I'll go for those nice and they match and um, it fits better but I'll leave this like this for now and I'm not sure if I could use it somewhere else maybe in the closet even so yeah I'm gonna put these in the closet and I'll use them as shelves to put extra bedding and stuff So for this setup I went with a standard table lamp here and a matching floor lamp on the other side just so it's it's something different than this than the basic two lamps on each table. Okay, so this room is almost finished. I just need something for the wall up there. That's about it. I, I do have a I do have a black and white comforter, or I do have like a dark gray and white comforter to go to go. I do have I do have like a dark gray and white comforter to go on the bed, and that's gonna tie everything together. And that's about it for this room, I think. So yeah, this room is pretty much done. I may switch the floor lamp to that side just because over there is going to be more hidden and it might actually look better. Back to this room, I got to figure out the nightstand situation and I like that lamp but I only have one so I might I might just need to get two different lamps. Hopefully a similar color because the blue goes really well in here I think. I wish these tables could have worked but it's just not. It doesn't match and the size is way too off. So. I'll continue this room next week and that's about it for today I'm wrapping things up here and um, I'll do another video once I'm back here in a couple of days